Hey, it's Joseph. Welcome to Brickzar. Today we are going to look at a vintage Lego set. So we got our time machine and we are going back to the year 1990. A year when the Braves, the Atlanta Braves, finished in last place. A year when I was still trying to figure out what I was going to do with my life. Working at Six Flags. Anyway, you don't want to hear about all that. This is going to be a vintage Legoland space system set. It's set number 6877. It is an Mtron, the power of magnet set. It is Vector Detector, which actually is a pretty cool name for magnetism, if you know what a vector is. So anyway, let's go back in time to 1990 and look at this set, or either just look at this set today. So the Vector Detector is a small LEGO, LEGO Land Space System set. The colors for the Mtron obviously are red and black. There are nine Mtron sets. All of them have this red and black. They have the Mtron M for magnetism. And the minifigures are pretty much the same in most of the sets. You do have the neon trans green, I think that is, accents to it and you do get magnets in the set and in the back of this ship is where the magnets are located they're to hold your cargo like so so he can fly along in his ship and pick up his cargo don't you love magnets don't you love it when i break the set but anyway do that again how does that happen is it defying gravity where is the power for that to lift up off the ground. How does that happen? Where does the energy come from to do that? Do you know? I know. So anyway, that is the set. Let's look at the minifigure. Here is our one minifigure. His helmet's on a little crooked. Standard minifigure head. Just the black trinium. Red torso with the black trinium and the um, white sleeves. And I got his cargo here as well. Which is actually nothing magnetic it's just a couple of one by one <laughs> round plates in there so how do you put the guy on the ship well back here they got these one by one clips as i knocked the guy over again you just do that and lift it up and then you can see his control panel doesn't really have a seat but you can just set them in there like that and then you close it back down and then you push those one by one clips back over. So that's really the only control panel you get. That's a printed piece. This is a printed piece. You got your thrusters in the back and then the magnet in the back to pick it up. Don't you love magnets? So that's all there is to that set. It's pretty small. We will show you the box and the instructions. Instructions, full color picture on the front. And then the box has the Mtron logo on it. I love the yellow boxes from back in the day. Most of the Lego sets back then in 1990 had a yellow box. Vector detector, I'm trying. And then on the other side, a couple of alternate builds and it shows you magnetism at work. Build one of these exciting models for this set. That is the box. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at an Mtron theme. Tell me what you think of this theme. This is the very first time I have reviewed one of the Mtron space sets. I do have the others to review. I will be getting around to doing those as well. I know Lego Mtron fan will probably appreciate that. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this look at a classic Lego space set from 1990. And check back later as we do... Uh, hope to look at some of the other Mtron sets. I do have them in my possession. We just got to find the time to build them. Anyway, catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. This is Joseph. You've been watching Brickzar.